Do you want to learn how to turn a cool idea into an awesome sci-fi animation in just minutes? In this video, I'm sharing the entire process, including creating an engaging story, epic visuals, slick voiceovers, futuristic animations, and editing. We'll use AI tools to save time. Stick around until the end, because by the time the video wraps, you'll know exactly how to leverage AI mm -hmm. to create stunning animation videos in minutes. First, we'll create our story. For this, I use a prompt like this. Initially, I ask it to generate five sci-fi story ideas. In the second part, I guide it towards specific genres such as cyberpunk and request a compelling hook to captivate the audience. Lastly, I add a note to avoid cliché ideas, as otherwise it might produce overly generic story concepts. Let's explore story ideas generated, a unique tale about people in the future renting out parts of their lives. Another set underwater with musical connections. Quite intriguing. There's one about people in a city raided by an algorithm reminiscent of Black Mirror, which I like. The one about farmers feels the most compelling. It really captures my interest. It could feature striking visuals. There's also a story blending dreams, which is interesting, but the farmer one stands out. Let's move forward with that story. Now, we'll write a storyline for our chosen story using a prompt. I ask it to create 10 scenes, each with a brief description and a corresponding image prompt. Once prepared, I'll review it, copy the output from the previous step, and run it as is. As you can see, it's starting to take shape nicely. It's depicting diverse scenes showing how people live under certain conditions. Very compelling. I'm quickly scanning through. We have a character here, and I'll show how to develop them consistently. The story wraps up with a strong ending, which looks great. We can use this as is, though we might make tweaks along the way. This forms the foundation of our storyline. Now, we can create our voiceover. To create the voiceover, I'll use the DubDub -Dub app, which I recently discovered. It's fantastic. I'll share the link below. After logging in on the homepage, go to the Studio section. Here, select the voiceover option. You can explore more voice options and test different ones. An important detail, the Ultra setting offers more human-like, realistic voices, which we'll use. I'll try a few now. Once upon a time in a small village, there lived a young girl. Once upon a time in a small village, there lived a young girl. She. Now close your eyes. Take a deep breath and imagine that you are standing in front of a... Hello, let's turn ideas into reality together. Don't... I really like Dimitri's female voice. It feels deep and perfect for storytelling, so I'll go with it. You can quickly adjust speed and fine-tune the pitch here, which is great. I'll select this and start producing. For example, let's take the first scene's audio. We can listen to it and generate it. After Earth's fall, we till the sky. Migrant hands, forgotten by history, Feed the planets now. Our soil, steel. Our sky, vacuum. It sounds amazing with the female narrator's voice. I love it. Once it's ready, you can easily download it to your computer by selecting Export and choosing your preferred format. After downloading, I'll voice the other scenes the same way. We'll use Leonardo for image generation. To do this, go to the website and then navigate to the image section. Here you can select different models on the left. I'm using the Phoenix model. You can choose the size here. It's set to square, but I'll change it to wide format. I won't touch any other settings now. For the first scene, I'll take a prompt I previously generated and paste it here. To ensure the scenes are consistent, I'll add a style note like 3D Pixar at the end of each prompt. I'll apply this to all scenes later because having them in this style makes the story more cohesive and watchable. I'll also show another tactic to enhance the concept of continuity between scenes. Now, let's generate the first images. Yes, they look great, capturing the scene we wanted from different angles. I'll generate another round to have more options to choose from. Yes, with different angles and lighting, I think this is enough for the first scene. Now for the second scene, I'll add 3D pixel style to the end of the prompt. 
I'll also copy the seed from the last generated image, go to the advanced features at the bottom left, enable it, and paste the seed there. This way, all images generated will share a consistent concept, as they're built from the same seed, making the scenes and characters feel closer. Let's generate the second set now. As you can see, the colors and scenes are very similar to the first ones, ensuring a smooth transition. Like the first, I'll generate a second round here too for more options. Yes, by introducing slight variations, it generated the scenes. I'll continue generating the other scenes this way. I've completed the scene generations, and as you can see, the scenes are consistent. We have a character here, for example, and we'll see this character again later. Now we'll start creating our video by animating these scenes. To animate the scenes, I'll use the Leonardo again. For this, we need video prompts. I'll go back to ChatGPT and ask it to generate video prompts for the scenes. For example, let's look at example one. It explains how the elements in this image should move in different ways and how the camera should orbit around the shown spaceship. It provides similar details for other scenes, specifying the elements and camera angles. For instance, I'll take scene one. If you recall, it had a top-down view of a spaceship. I'll use that. In Leonardo, I go to my images and select the scene from the ones we generated earlier. Let's pick this scene. Once selected, Leonardo's new feature allows us to handle image animations directly in the platform. We'll choose Generate Video, paste the prompt I copied earlier, and start the generation. The first scene is done. As you can see, it rotates at a nice angle and then zooms in to show details. I think this is usable. We can also generate this scene for a longer duration. We made a 5 second clip here. I'll generate the other scenes similarly. I've completed the generations. Let's review them together. I think the animations are quite successful. In the next step, I'll edit these and add the voiceover we generated earlier. As you can see, I've consolidated everything into CapCut, and it's a very easy to use app. Let me quickly explain what I did. First, I added the scenes. Then, I inserted transitions between them. Let me zoom in. You can see the transitions I added here, making the flow smoother. Next, I added captions, which you can see below as subtitles. These can be added with a single button on one layer. Then, using the DubDub -Dub app, I generated voiceovers, placed them in the scenes, and adjusted the scene lengths based on the voiceovers. Finally, I added music. Finally, I added music, which you can see in the fourth row here. I sourced the music directly from the CapCut app by searching for space and applied it. That's how I created my video. Let's see how it looks. Centuries after Earth's fall, we till the sky. Migrant hands, forgotten by history, feed the planets now. Our soil, steel. Our sky, vacuum. The crops are engineered. The people are not. We labor under quotas tighter than gravity itself. It started with a shimmer, leaves wilting under synthetic sun. Then, entire plots collapsed in hours. Our lifeline, dying. I was trained to fix machines, not ecosystems. But when your world floats in pieces, you learn to mend more than circuits. We reported the blight, HQ replied with silence. Then threats, we're not partners, we're property. 
They wanted quiet compliance. Instead, we shared forbidden data, whispered of sabotage, and remembered Earth's wild seeds. My mother used to tell me of birds, trees, oceans, sounds I'd never heard, but her DNA archive held a forgotten hope. The infection wasn't an accident, it was a call, designed to eliminate us when we asked for more. With ancient seeds and stolen tech, we rewrote the ring's future, not for profit, for survival. The corporations lost their grip. The ring lives, and in it, Earth breathes again, in roots, in rebellion, in renewal. I think it turned out to be a really great video, and it was produced very quickly, about 20 minutes. Of course, some scenes could be improved with more effort. If you spend, say, 30 minutes instead of 20, those scenes could be refined. But I think it's fantastic as is, a space-themed animation that's quite engaging. In this video, you learned how to craft a story from start to finish, create its audio, build its scenes, animate those scenes, and turn them into a final video. Now, you can create your own stories in any field too. You can find links to all the apps I used in the description. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.